Hi, I'm here to talk about Capability Brown, the greatest landscape gardener in the West. And there are three things I want to tell you about him. The first is that if you're thinking landscape gardener is someone who comes and puts a terrace in your back garden, you have to change your idea about the scale. So I'm here at Beaver Castle, which is one of his later works, where he worked on landscape about 7,000 acres. And the second thing I want to tell you is that he worked on a huge number of properties. If you try to work out the total acreage of England that he worked on, it's getting on for half a million acres. So that brings me to the third point, which is that um, the landscapes he made are almost impossible to distinguish from nature. Because he designed in this very naturalistic style, and even his contemporaries in the 18th century were saying that all his best work will be mistaken for nature, and Dame Nature will have the last laugh, was what they seem to say. But Brown transformed nature, and with that, he transformed our idea of England. He created an idea of England, what it is to be English, and how the whole Western world relates to the natural world. He was a towering genius. He was a great architect, designer, artist, manager, charmed people, drainage expert, agriculturist. He covered everything, as many 18th century figures did. I've called my book Capability Brown Placemaker because that's how he described his profession. And my aim is not to rewrite his biography, but rather to explore his work and what he actually achieved. This is the first book ever to actually ask what his design was about. Other books have written biographies of Brown. There's several great biographies, but all of them take his design for granted. They don't even ask really why he tried to design in this natural manner. So my book answers those questions, why he made landscapes, what he made them for, and how they were used. What tends to happen when people hear me talk about the book is that it completely changes their attitude to the countryside and landscape that they see, and that's what I hope this book will do. And what you're going to get out of it is a revelation about the countryside you've always lived in and always looked and taken for granted and walked the dog in and so on. How design has impacted on the way you live your life and on English culture. <laughs>